What up, YouTube? <sighs> another rant, yet again today, on another horror movie for Halloween coming up pretty soon. What I'm talking about is Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, released in 1991, directed by Rachel Talalay, or whatever her name is, stars Robert Englund, Lisa Zane, Sean Greenblatt, Leslie Dean, and Yepik Koto. So this one's uh, about Freddy, who basically returns and basically uh, plans on killing the remaining uh, teenagers in the town of Springwood, since everybody else he's pretty much killed, and he basically tries to um, kill the rest of the teenagers to gain more power, and it's pretty much the whole premise of the film. And um, it's not very good, I'll tell you that. Looking at it now, it's very cheesy. And, um, well, I will have to say that, um, Robert England did a very good job as Freddy Krueger once again. Special effects were pretty decent, but looking at it now, they're cheesy as hell. And they changed the series into the horror comedy when it came to this one. And to be honest, it didn't really work, in my opinion. But, um, if you like this movie, then it's, it's fine. I'm going to say my personal opinion, I respect your opinion, and hopefully you respect mine. But they just went at this one all wrong, and they they were just wanting, you know, the old cha-ching, cha-ching, you know, cash money, whatever. But, um, the acting wasn't really that good. Uh, the only actor that was, that made this one watchable was Robert England. And yeah, like, the other actors and actresses just weren't really that great. That's all I can say. There really isn't really that much to it, and to me, this film was just unneeded and unnecessary, and, um, I don't know, like, it just, it wasn't, it wasn't scary, it wasn't funny, and it just, uh, it was just, uh, another flop in the horror franchise, and, um, there is one more flop in the franchise, but I'll get to that after this review is done, but anyway, um, if you want to check it out, you know, pick it up if you want, um, you probably you probably be disappointed and uh, prepare to be disappointed if you will because you know it's not a very good movie, but um, Freddy Krueger is one of my favorite horror icons. I'd say he's probably my favorite because you know like he's just uh, so creepy and so scary. But this time, uh, this time they just made him seem funny and there's more backstory on Freddy Krueger about like why he's evil and everything and. Uh, I I thought that all that was fine, but I just didn't like the direction that the franchise was going in. But I understand why they did it because of wanting money and all that good stuff. But anyway, um, I'd say give this a rental, or you can get it. And if, if you don't have, if you have all, if you have like the first five, or you don't have this one, I recommend picking it up more for the collection because. It's not really a watchable movie, but, you know, if you have to have, if you have the first five, you gotta have them all, so, you know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna go on and on like I did with, uh, Jason Takes Manhattan, but, uh, <clears throat> sorry, good pickups. Anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.